This video is called Why I'm Pissed That Uber and Lyft Changed Their Rates. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'll share with you the number one reason why I'm pissed. So, hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And if you didn't know, Uber and Lyft both changed their rates in December. And what I'm going to do is go over five aspects of that change. First is the announcements that they made to us the drivers so it was first i heard about it from uber on november 29th and i got this email and basically they told us that the rate for the miles you know the how much we get paid per mile was going to come down a little bit but oh my gosh the amount of money we're going to make per minute is going to go up and that overall the rates wouldn't really affect our revenue well, we'll get to that later. And then I thought, wow, that's something that Uber would do, but not Lyft. But then a few weeks later, I got this little uh, notification in my app uh, from Lyft saying basically they're doing the same thing. So it, uh, it, it just irritated pretty much everybody that I know uh, who's a driver uh, getting these announcements. Number two is let's look at who this helps and who this hurts. So if you're an aggressive driver and you're trying to maximize your revenue, this hurts you. Because the goal, the game has been to get as many miles in as you can because those miles were paying us the most, not the minutes. So you'd want to find uh, the opportunities where you could drive at 70 miles per hour on the freeway and, and, and make those big, those big payouts. Um, now, those are going to pay you less. Now, if you're not a great driver and you're not looking to maximize uh, your revenue, you're sitting in traffic. You don't really care. And if that's the case, this change will benefit you because you sitting in traffic, you're going to get a little bit more per minute and you'll make a little bit more. So I don't like the change, if you can't tell. This is why I'm pissed because I really work hard to, to maximize my driving time on the weekends to get those long trips so that my per hour earnings is as high as possible. Number three is driver backlash. So I did some looking on the internet and no driver is happy with this change. It's just BS that we're being told by Uber and Lyft that our rates won't change, that we're gonna make the same amount of money, right? We make a little bit less on the long rides, a little bit more on the short rides, but it's all gonna kind of even out. That's what they've been telling us. So I did a little bit of looking on the internet and man, there is some serious backlash and uh, it's well-deserved. Number four is bad timing. Uber and Lyft, this is bad timing. I mean, what were you thinking? You came out with Uber Pro and Lyft came out with their 15 enhancements and these were all good things, uh, but the majority of drivers in the country haven't seen them yet. I haven't seen it, much of them in, in San Francisco, certainly not the ones that would earn me any extra revenue or help me with my driving. And then you hit us with this. So whatever goodwill you generated with those enhancements, dashed, gone. Uh, we trust you less and we are now more cynical and doubtful. And certainly there are many people now who are gonna think, I don't even know if I wanna drive anymore. Cause that's what's gone through my head because the direction is like this. It's like death by a thousand cuts. Number five, the number one reason that I'm pissed is I'm making less money. So I had to dive into the numbers and I took a, a, a week in which I, I did 165 rides for Lyft and I ran the numbers with the old rates and with the new rates. And you know what I found out? I would have made $34 less, which is about 2% of my driving revenue. This is not counting bonuses, not counting cancels, not counting tips, anything like that. But just, just purely on the, the time and distance, uh, that's 2%. So if I make $100,000 in a year, I just lost $2,000 uh, based on what I saw in that one week. Another driver did, did his research as well, and he found out in Boston that he, was, he lost $12 in a week. So these may, you may say, well, what's the big deal, $34, $12? Well, over a year or over a career, that's a lot of money. $2,000, that's, that's a good vacation I'm missing out on because of this change. So that's the number one reason. You know, I work hard. Y'all have your reasons for working. And, putting... and 
This just makes it harder for us, the drivers, uh, because we're making less money. So in summary, the way you got to look at this is we are pawns on a chessboard. And as long as you understand that, as long as you don't have these visions that you and Uber and Lyft are partners and that they have your well-being in mind, that you are a pawn and they're going to manipulate you as much as they can uh, to make as much money as they can. If you understand that's the game that they're playing and you're okay with that, then it's okay. But if you're under the misconception that we're all working together here and they care about us as drivers, I would say you're going to get hurt, right? You're going to be upset and uh, driving won't be as much of a joy. So everybody, I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, it's great to have you here. I hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. And uh, by all means, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so. Um, we offer you lots of videos on the topic of being a driver, whether you drive people around, or you drive food around, or you drive whatever it may be. So everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy saying go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.